Hi, this is Peter Kang from Fort Worth, Texas. Today is May the 7th, 2015. Yeah, I'm, uh, we are having some very wet um, year this year. Um, my backyard is never going to dry. Yeah, it's just uh, one of those um, off weather. But I guess I just have to live with it. Just year plenty on rain. So here's what I have um, from the last time I had it um, uploaded on the video. Yeah, um, my um, my koi's are starting to come out. The little guys, they start to um, uh, they were, they are still skittish, but you know hunger drives them and they come out when I feed them. And this time I, I have the smaller uh, ground up pieces of koi food because they're little, you know. Um, and it sinks to the bottom that way it encourages them to come out and start getting used to the floating food after a while. But yeah, they're starting to come out and uh, it's kind of dark to see, but they're, they're out, out over here and start uh, eating and being very uh, strong and healthy. And my pepper is just uh, amazing, I tell you. I, I've been eating like these green peppers like crazy. I've been eating two, three a day. And I cannot keep up with their bearing fruit here. Uh, it just, just overwhelmed. Uh, my wife cannot eat them. Um, it's just too hot for her or something and my daughter don't eat hot peppers so I'm the only one eating these peppers and yeah it's more than enough for me to eat them um, anyway um, yeah keep me happy anyway and looking at the uh, bigger unit yes um, there's a few change has been happened here I've got a bigger pump which is 1,000 gallons per hour and that pump is inside of this A-frame. Not from the sump pump, but inside so it continuously recirculates within the inside. It, so it, it isolates back and forth, but still with a bigger pump, I'm having blockages and it gets stuck every now and then so I have to pull the cord and re, re, uh, reboot it. Or sometimes I have to open up uh, the deal and screen and I have to brush them off. But here's uh, three holes missing here because water is not reaching there. Uh, there's three holes over there, water is not reaching there. But otherwise everything's fine. Um, actually one of them starts to already flower. Believe that? Yeah, it's flowering. And these uh, missing one. The, the strawberry that's missing from here are over there. Uh, some of them have been rescued actually because it got so parched dry and it's coming back. Uh, yeah, and some of them are, you know, I, I've set it out there early and actually they do just fine even on the water. And I reconfigure uh, my, well, redesign my venturi uh, uh, system here for two pumps that are dedicated to straight to uh, the grow bed and uh, both of them are continuously giving air into the uh, grow bed here not only my a-frame by itself but coming from some pump I got two pumps coming into my uh, uh, grow bed system currently I have problem with algaes I mean like algaes um, so I've been trying to cover most of it up so I guess about 10% of the surface it has been covered uh, uh, I mean not covered but 90% has been covered by uh, by the foam board so as you can see they're doing really well um, you know it's kind of hard to keep up with every day, make sure they are oscillating back and forth and all that because due to algae. Algae is constantly clogging up my uh, screen and mostly I just unplug it and uh, hook it back on and it 
tends to correct the problem now. So, yeah. And as you can see here, they are growing pretty well. And again here, I got three holes that's, uh, uh, the water's not getting there, not enough anyway. I mean, it's very meager amount, so I gotta figure something out. Um, you know, a 1,000 gallon per hour, and it is, you know, pump is pretty, pretty strong, but it does get blockage on it. Yeah, and there's one about to bloom, and yeah, yeah, here's another one about to bloom. Yeah, so you know, maybe I, I'll have start to have some strawberry, um, one way or another. It's too early to tell, but there's another one about to bloom. Boy, these strawberries are really um, nice. <laughs> so. Yeah, these strawberry holes that, that's not on there is because not enough water. I'm, I'm, I might have to reset the spraying mode further down. That way I may have, I may cover one hole, but it's only one, you know, at the bottom. It's just interesting how the angle hits the board and it just doesn't reach it there. But yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna do without it for now. And they're doing fine with the floating uh, bed. So why bother? I'll just do whatever I can here. And my seedlings that I've been growing, well, they are they are growing and they're spread out. You see. Um, and then the other growing. Um, let's see here. Let's walk over here. Oops, Oops got a little slippage. Like I said, this rain has been really something else. Well. There's the other grow, seedling growth uh, tray over here. And uh, yeah, I will be moving some, most of that onto my grow bed eventually. That's my, uh, the reason I have all these boards up is because the surface area, I'm trying to reduce my uh, sun exposure to the, to the water. Because the algae blooms like crazy right now. It's a new pond, not only that, um, plants are young, uh, yeah, and my nitrite level was 0.5, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, yeah, it's a nutrient water, all right, it just, uh, and I had some perch die out each time uh, rain came, algae blooms, and I guess chokes out the oxygen, and yeah, the perch are, well, sunfish are dying. And I'm, it really breaks my heart when that happens. I'm even worried about my big koi's in there. Uh, so I, I try not to feed them anymore um, till, uh, you know, water smells good in that A-frame. I usually smell them in there. Um, when, you know, when water smells healthy, then I know it is healthy. And there's that uh, other strawberry, they're doing pretty well also, as well. Um, and I squeeze that, that pre-filter, and here's what it looked like. It's just, it's amazing, it's just so much algae. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah. And my plants are doing pretty well here. Just give it more time and It'll get there. Um, my strawberries, they are, uh, yeah, they are still trying to grow out. My my sugar snap pea, they're, they're starting to grow uh, longer. And this red variety of tomato, they're actually growing faster than my yellow pear, supposed to be yellow pear uh, tomato. Yeah, they're definitely going faster. So, yeah, maybe just the kind of tomato they are. And then, uh, here's more sugar, different, uh, yeah, different uh, sugar uh, pea than the one over there. Yeah, they're, th these guys are actually going faster. Um, 
Yeah, I can't just hardly wait till they cover this side up so I don't have to worry about algaes here. Um, just uh, I want them to really start drawing in the nutrient that fish is releasing. And, and here is my uh, cucumber. Yes, cucumber. And uh, let's look at some more on the other side. Yeah, like I said, perches, well, the sunfish just, I feel, I feel really bad about that, but, yeah. And then uh, my uh, climbing squash, yeah, they are actually growing faster. Um, now they're, they came out kind of late, but they really um, take off. And the honeydew melon right there, yeah. Okay. Alright, here we go. Okay. And uh, here's some more strawberry plants. They're, they're doing alright. And here's a couple more honeydew melon, I remember now. And one in the uh, container over there. There, that's uh, honeydew, I mean, uh, that's a watermelon from Korea. Um, I don't think they grow that big of watermelon. And when the vine reaches, it's gonna, I'm gonna redirect it out into the side of the unit and hopefully they grow out into the yard if they have to. Anyway, yeah, and then my bush uh, beans are doing good. And then my squash. Squash, uh, they kind of look yellowish, I don't know. Maybe that's what it would it look like. I, other plants don't look that yellow, but anyway, we'll see what happens. May I may have to start mixing chelated iron now. And then here's my uh, radish, uh, Korean radish. Uh, they're doing well. The root will be about the amount of dirt I put in is about the root length it's gonna be. So hopefully that's gonna be working. And. That's the heirloom tomato, and that is the radish. That's daikon radish. Yeah, they can They're growing really fast, and their tuber is going to be reaching probably close to the water when they grow big. I hope. I hope that's how it's going to be. We'll see. Another heirloom tomato there. I don't know what that is. Nothing's growing out of there. And here, you know, I gave up on the. Uh, eggplant you know um, so I just add more soil and just did that and here's that uh, uh, bell pepper that I was complaining about last time now they're sprouting out so I figure eggplant should be about sprouting out like these guys will it's too sure taking forever but it's coming out I thought seeds just uh, gotten rotten or something and it's not viable but they are coming out maybe it's a temperature um, just it have to be warmer temperature to germinate that's what I'm thinking so yeah that's a bell pepper uh, and then uh, here is a uh, huge watermelon I bought from water, uh, Walmart one time it was like you know the watermelon was really huge so I saved some seeds and I plant it here. Hopefully when they get bigger I'll uh, put the vines out this way and hopefully out into the yard. And my uh, strawberry is doing well, you know, even this way. Without the A-frame. Um, they're doing fine. Um, and then there's another strawberry. Eh, he's alright. And then uh, and this is that uh, green uh, uh, turnip green, yeah. These are my favorite right here. So green and it's, it is very, very tasty. I'm just gonna grow them very dense. That way uh, I'll have tender shoots and you know, not so tough, uh, uh, you know, fiber tough type of vegetable. I want a tender shoot and grow, shoot out as much as it can and so I can harvest and put it another, another batch up, you know. Fast overturn, that's what I'm looking for. 
Yeah, so, yeah, this is the other side here now. Yeah, so the unit is continuously uh, spraying the water, so at night I could hear them, even inside the house. Um, I may have to build some barricade on both sides of the unit. That way it'll, uh, you know, sound will bounce off and not, not so much disturbing, you know, my room. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, have to put up with this, but it's, you know, hopefully it's well worth it, the experiment. And I'll definitely put a sound barrier here to keep it, keep it more quiet. Anyway, yeah, that 1,000 gallon uh, pump was a lot better than the one I was using earlier. So, um, yeah, this is one of those things that, uh, uh, you know, just have to go by trial and error. Uh, looking from this view, this is my favorite way, and it, it does take a lot of uh, tending at this point. But I'm hoping by the time the algae algae blooms are die out, then uh, you know the system itself. You know, I don't have to look look out at. So I hope it'll kind of take care of its own. Um, you know, when these guys have the long roots and cover up the whole inside and all that good stuff. And I don't, I don't mind missing few holes here. Um, I may have to think about some kind of deflector in a way that it'll, it'll hit it up to here. But I tell you, not a drop, not much of a drop of water hitting these holes. Just weird how that works out, you know. But uh, that's how it is. There's three holes at the bottom, three holes at the over there. Actually, there's four holes over there that's missing. Three holes here. So. Yeah, but you know, as long as uh, it works for me, you know, I wouldn't, I, I don't care. Okay, well, um, I'm hoping for these fish to be slowing down on death. It's just so discouraging when I see fish dying. And my, lastly, my koi, I don't want my koi to die. But anyway, yeah, I need to control my algae. This is crazy, it's like a epic, epic fish dying failure. Oh, I, I hate this. Alright, stay tuned. Bye.